Hello friends, this video on determinant part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Let's try to learn the determinant of a matrix of order of 1 cross 1. So if there's a matrix with single element, then this is 1 cross 1. Why? Single element is there, so it's 1 cross 1 matrix. Then the determinant is equal to A only, A itself. For example, if you have a single matrix with value 5, then the determinant will be nothing but 5. If you have a matrix with single value x, then the determinant will be x. If you have a matrix with single value, let's suppose 5 plus 2i, single matrix, single value, so the determinant will also be same. So that's what it says. If there's a matrix, 1 cross 1 matrix, all are 1 cross 1 matrix if you see, then the determinant is the number itself. Now let's find determinant of order 2. So here it says that if this is a matrix A with 4 element, 2 cross 2, how 2 cross 2? There are 2 horizontal and 2 vertical sets, so it is 2 cross 2. So if it is 2 cross 2 matrix, then then the determinant is defined as DET A or determinant A, same face, same face or triangle. Any of this thing is fine. So to represent, we can use DET A, A with two bars or triangle symbol. That is nothing but you take this guy A1, A2 into A2, A1, then you subtract A1, A2 and a1, A12 and A21. That is A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. And that is how you do. Correct. So just spend some time here because this is a basic here. So you have a 2 cross 2 matrix. To find determinant, you take these two numbers, diagonal number, multiply it, subtract with the remaining two numbers. Very simple. Square matrix, diagonal number, multiply, subtract with remaining two numbers. Let's take one example. So we have this uh, matrix and we define determinant of this. So I can say determine, this guy is nothing but determinant of A. It's because the representation itself is determinant. For example, if A is this matrix, correct. So I, if I say determinant of A, or I say A with the dash or triangle, this is nothing but 2, 4, minus 5. So notice here the difference is the one here, this guy has edge. Correct? So that means it is a matrix. This guy here is not having any edge. Straight. Please see, there is no edge. Straight. That means it is, I am talking about determinant. I can say A is equal to this. I can't say A is equal to 2, 4, minus 5, minus 1. If I say this, this is wrong. I can't say like this. Correct. So A will be in this fashion because A is a matrix. It will have the structure. And when I say matrix, I don't have any structure. It's just horizontal lines. So determinant of A is nothing but in this fashion you say A or triangle or this one. Now to find the value, you have to multiply the diagonals, then subtract the remaining parts. This is nothing but multiply diagonals 2 into 1 minus subtract remaining part that is 4 into minus 5. Correct. So what I get? 2 minus 4 into minus 5 is minus 20. 2 minus minus 20 that is 22. Sorry, there is a mistake here and the mistake is it is minus 1 here. Correct? It is minus 1. So it is 2 into minus 1. 2 into minus 1 minus 4 into minus 5. So it is minus 2 minus 20. That is minus 18. And that is my answer. Sorry, it is minus plus 18. Why? Because minus 2 plus 20 is plus 18.
So there was a confusion here because instead of minus I wrote a plus here. So now everything is clear. It is minus 2. So minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 2 and minus of minus 20 is plus 20. So minus this is nothing but minus 2 plus 20 and that is nothing but 18 and that is my answer. So finding determinant is very simple for uh, 1 cross 1 same element for 2 cross 2 for 2 cross 2 elements you have to just uh, multiply the diagonals and subtract with the multiplication of remaining numbers. So multiply diagonals subtract with the multiplication of remaining numbers. Let's take one more example here also we have to find determinant. So let's suppose this was a matrix A with the structure here cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta. So this is the matrix A. So when I say determinant of A that is nothing but same symbol same this is all same all three are same and there is nothing but what is R? It's cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and Please observe the lines are straight here, no cut. Now to find the actual value, multiply diagonals, subtract the remaining numbers. So this is nothing but cos theta into cos theta minus minus sin theta into sin theta. So this becomes cos square theta plus sin square theta and that is nothing but 1. So that is my answer. So determinant for this guy is 1. Very simple. Just I am taking this example so that you can remember the notations. Determinant of A is DDA or A with these two horizontal lines or triangle and you get the value. Multiply diagonals, subtract the remaining numbers. We'll take one more example because we are building the concepts here. So let's let's build the concept properly. So this guy is nothing but determinant of some matrix. So there was a matrix with this value, and since it is already determinant, the way we, it was in the past example, but now I'll try to do some shortcut because this guy is nothing but you multiply these two guys, subtract the, the remaining part. So right? the value of this is nothing but multiply diagonal, subtract the this is nothing but multiply diagonals x square minus x plus 1 this guy into x plus 1 multiply diagonals and then subtract the remaining parts x plus 1 into x minus 1 this is what we will get so now if you see we will get x plus 1 common so that is nothing but x square minus x plus 1 minus x minus 1 it is minus x and minus minus plus plus 1. This is what we get. So what you get here, this is nothing but x plus 1 into, this is x plus 1 into x square minus 2x plus 2. So if you solve this further, this will become x into x square is x cube minus 2x square plus 2x plus 1 into x square is x square, 1 into minus 2x is minus 2x plus 1 into plus 2 is 2 and there is nothing but x cube all x square term together minus x square plus x square is minus x square it is minus 2x square plus x square and then all x term together plus 2x minus 2x is gone and then plus 2 and that is my answer. This is the determinant of the matrix of order. Let's take one more example here we have to find the value of x where uh, these two determinants are equal. If you see the matrix are not equal, the determinants are equal. In the in the, in the mat matrix chapter what we have done, we have done similar question where we are saying that the matrix are equal. So where we have something like this 2, 3, 2, x, 4, 5 and here we will have 2, 7, 4, 5 and we will say find value of x. Then we will compare and we will directly say x is equal to 7 because here we have matrices but now the determinants are equal. The matrices are not equal. Determinants are equal. Correct? See here also if you see the values are not equal. The matrices are not equal but determinants are equal. So let's find 
left hand side determinant is nothing but multiply diagonals 2 into 1 minus remaining part 5 into 4. So that is nothing but minus 18. Let's see right hand side. Same thing multiply diagonals 2x into x, 2x square, subtract remaining part minus 6 into 4. So that is nothing but 2x square minus. So since my LHS is equal to RHS, I can say that 2x square minus 24 is equal to minus 18. Or I can say that 2x square is nothing but 24, you take this side, minus 18, that is 6. Or I can say that x square is equal to 6 by 2, that is 3. Or I can say that x is nothing but plus minus 3. So I've got the value of x. So one example where we have used determinant of matrix of order 2 to find the value of x. Please understand in the examination try to make out difference between this guy the determinant and matrix. Don't get confused. The symbol itself is different. The matrix is like this and determinant is like this. Having understood the determinant of matrix of order 2 cross true, now let's understand determinant of a matrix of order 3 cross. So determinant of a matrix of order 3 can be determined by expressing that in the second order determinants. So if you know how to find second order determinants, that is matrix of order 2 cross 2, we can find third order and so on. This is done by expanding. The expanding the determine along row or a column. So we'll, we'll expand this along row or a column. If you're not understanding it, just bear with me because I'll explain this, I'll solve it and it will be clear. So just understand that finding a matrix of order, determinant of a matrix of order 3 cross 3 is, is doable and we can do that if you know how to find the matrix of 2 cross 2. And that is done by expanding the matrices, the 3 cross 3 matrices along row or a column. So if you see there are 3 rows and 3 columns right so that so there are 6 ways of expanding 3 for 3 rows and 3 for 3 columns. So eventually it will be you can expand using first row we can expand using second row we can expand using third row we can expand using first column second column or third column. I will show you if you try any of this method, you get the same answer for determinant. So the message is you have a three, uh, three cross three matrices like this. You have some matrices, let's suppose A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and C1, C2, C3. And you expand in, in any fam. You, you try to expand in this first row or second row, third row, first column, second column, third column, using a process obviously this is a set of rule. So using a rule which I will tell you, you will get same answer. So you can expand using any other rows or columns, you will get the same value of answer. So let us try to Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.